Hey, Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We're at uh, Summer NAM Nashville 2009, checking out new stuff from Olympus, and I've got Amy Leslie with me here. Amy, how are you doing? Oh, good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. You know, we use a, a number of different uh, digital recorders at Premier Guitar uh, for music purposes, for note-taking purposes and whatnot. And one of them that is in our stable is the, the LS10. Uh, we even, you know, mentioned it in a review. It's a fantastic product, but there is an upgrade to it now. This is the LS11. LS11, yep. It's brand new. We just announced it today. Basically, it has all the great features that the LS10 has. It has the 24-bit 96 uh, fr frequency rate. It has the onboard speakers that everyone loves, the USB port, the built-in limiter and levels, the condenser microphones. The upgrades to this are that it has eight gigs of internal memory now where the LS10 had two. It also holds an SD card up to 32 gigabytes, so we have loads of memory. Another great feature within this is that you can move your files between the SD card and the internal memory. So you don't have to choose which uh, memory format that you want it on, you can move them between the two. The other great thing is this has 23 hours of battery life. It does run on two double A's like the LS10. So we're, uh, you know, really good battery life now compared to the 14 that we had. Other great features now is that it has mono recording capability. So if someone just wants dumbed down audio or a lower compression file, maybe for broadcasting or podcasting purposes, they can choose to do mono in all the three formats. It still has, you know, WAVE, MP3, and WMA recording formats available. New beautiful silver aluminum body. Uh, LS10 is still at black. Another great feature is the voice synchronization function. In our consumer lineup, we have something similar to this. And, and what this basically does is you can set the, the volume at a preset level. And whenever the recorder senses that sound at this level, it will automatically record without you having to hit the record button. So essentially, if you just have this in your pocket or you're somewhere out at a show and you don't need or want your hands to have to hit record, as soon as it senses the sound at the level you set it at, it will automatically start recording. And it'll stop recording when it gets down to the level below that preset that you have it set at. That's pretty cool. So it won't take up the disk space no, for just dead air. If you're, all, yeah. Say you're writing, figuring something out, trying to record some licks, and you have to stop and think, which I do a lot, <laughs> it'll stop. Yep, absolutely, yeah. So it, depending on whatever level you set it at, it'll automatically record and stop on its own. So yeah, it saves power, it saves memory and everything. And like you said, it stops the dead noise in between if you don't want to listen to you know a huge long file. Um, other great things with the file length is that we have index marking in the MPC in the PCM mode. So basically, if you uh, are recording or during playback, you can actually hit a button that will insert an index mark into here. And what that'll do is, if you have a 50-minute file and you had put an index mark in there during recording or while you're listening to it back, anytime you want to revert back to that spot in the file, you just hit the index button and it'll go back and find it for you. So you should never do this, but if you were to bootleg a show, this is a button you could press at the beginning of every song, which again, you should never do. <laughs> yes, and I, and I didn't say that either. <laughs> um, what are you hearing from musicians who are using these products? Uh, I, we've talked before about how you know, you may look at it and think, oh, that's for business uses. But I mean, a lot of a lot of musicians, guitarists especially, are able to lug these things around. Well, not even oh, lug, absolutely. take these things around to gigs and whatnot. We're really finding, um, and, and I'm impressed because it's not just musicians, but also people in the nature world, you know, um, that want to record anything in high quality sound. But as far as the musicians go, it's great for capturing lyrics, like if they're out and about or in their car and then suddenly something comes to them, um, for practicing because they can choose the different formats. They can also, people are using these to like send demos in and everything, which is impressive because the quality is double CD sound quality. If you have it at the highest bit, the highest bit rate. Um, so I think you know for practicing sessions, it's just we're getting a lot of good feedback. I had someone this morning say to me um, that these little recorders are taking the music industry by storm, and they keep coming out. And they're growing, and they're at really reasonable prices now. I mean, LS10 dropped down to 2.99, and we're introducing the LS11 at 3.99. So they're they're pretty reasonable prices. All right. So there are also some uh, great accessories with this, right, Amy? Yeah, there are. Uh, the LS10 and LS11 will still come come with the two windscreens that go right over the microphones like this. But we also have this great uh, windscreen here. Everyone loves it. It's like muskrat skin. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, this is a great windscreen that will really block out all the noise. So if you are outside recording or maybe you're recording a concert or a gig, this will totally block out that sound. We also have a skin. The body is an aluminum durable body. However, if you're worried and you want that extra protection, we have a silicone skin that will go over this and still allow for easy functionality of the device. Uh, we still have our great wireless remote control. This will record um, up to about 20 
65 feet, we were testing it out. So you just plug this into the top of the device and you're able to wirelessly record from a stop and record function. Yeah, and lastly we have a compact gun microphone. We also have a larger zoom microphone that I don't have with me, but these little guys, um, you know, they just are an external mic that will plug right into both recorders and they'll be able to capture sound farther away than the microphone. I see the TRS, is, is this stereo? Yep, this is stereo, absolutely. Yeah, it goes right into the mic output that we have on the side here. Okay. All right, Amy, if people want to find out more, where can they go online? They can go to olympusamerica.com and click on the audio section and look at the PCM recorders. Right, thank okay, you thank much. you. I'm Joe Coffey, you're watching premierguitar.com.